vapors and cunning Japanese. What a genius record. What a, what a genius record. It was just a really good kind of pop punk song that, that came out of nowhere. And then I think when people found out what it was about, it became a little bit of a sniggering kind of moment. The song's lyrics have been interpreted in many different ways over the years, but one theory always comes out on top. It's allegedly about the face that men pull at the point of orgasm. Oh, yeah! <laughs> People have decided what they want the, the lyrics to be about for themselves, and that's fine by me. When I wrote them, it was about sitting looking at a photograph of your girlfriend that you both signed, I love you, on it. And he's sitting there, that's the only thing he's got left of an entire relationship. He shut himself away in his room, he wants the, the pictures all around his cell cell being a prison. It's up to you whether he's wanking or not. I don't care. <laughs> the mass debate about masturbation, though, wasn't the only secret to their success. The other was their management. None other than Paul Weller's dad, John Weller. I remember sitting in the studio with, um, I think, all of the jam uh, and all of that, and it was our recording session, but they were in there too because they were at number one and we were at number three. So we were all celebrating together. But whilst the jam went on to become one of the biggest acts in pop history, the vapors seemingly, well, vaporised. Obviously, John Weller couldn't be in two places at once. Obviously, he had um, preferred to be with his son and the jam. So we ended up falling apart. I'm now going back to uh, doing law, which is where I started before the vapors. Um, but doing music law, I work for the Musicians' Union now, helping people that do exactly what I did. Japanese, I 